in 2016, when we started the People Project, I changed uh, the description on my LinkedIn profile to people-centered development advocate. And unfortunately, I'm not completely satisfied with this description anymore. And in this short presentation, I would like to tell you why. So this scheme uh, is, has been shown throughout the People Project in almost every presentation that I had everywhere, all over the world, actually. And what does it say? So we should start the development with the people with the identification, who are we solving for and with. The next step is the analysis of the people. What do they actually want and need? And the third step, interpretation, with the people. What and how will we create to serve their needs? And the fourth step, final step, testing of the solutions with the people and asking them, does it matter to you? And a huge problem in the current development is that nobody asks people anything. Usually, not always, usually. Because usually just uh, head of the company, head of design, head of marketing, uh, and head of development meet in a meeting room, and then they ask themselves, what shall we design for our users, clients, customers, whatever they call them? And they don't go to the people and ask them, what do you actually want? And this is why we get bad products. What, this is why we get stupid and useless solutions. And, this is, and then we get these solutions and the company has to advertise it for uh, motivating us or to um, making an impression that we actually need something that we don't need and want. And the important thing is that this is an iterative process. So when you go through the cycle, you have to ask again and again and again, do you really need this? How can we improve this product solution, make it more human friendly? And we've tested now this um, approach in several projects, including the national ones and European ones, international projects, and it really works, but it has also a flaw. What we managed to do with the people-centered design and development, so we managed to make a shift from the expert mindset of the experts, engineers, designers, uh, medical doctors, knowing better than the people what the people actually need, to the participatory mindset that people are actually involved in the development of uh, solutions that they will use in the future. So it's, I think it's a great step, but after three years in the People Project, I think it's just the first step, and it was definitely a necessary step. So what comes next? So we made the move from the expert mindset to the people-centered mindset, and the next step that this should be urgently done is the planet-centered mindset. So with every solution that we are developing, we should ask ourselves, not why is it good for the people, for us, but why is it good for other beings on this planet, for animals, plants, and for the planet as a whole? Does it make sense, not only to the community of people, but does it make sense to our planetary community? Because in this way, we might survive as a species for the next 1,000 or 10,000 years. By the way, I don't know if you know, every year 10,000 species are extinct on this planet. Species. And I think it's a horrible fact, but it's also time to face the fact. And I used to end this presentation a quote from the Australian band, uh, perhaps those of you born in 1960s, 1970s, maybe early 1980s still remember it. If you don't remember it, you, you definitely remember this guitar riff. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so the time has come to say fair's fair, to pay the rent, to pay our share, the share for the planet. And it's very similar actually 
um, this song, Bats Are Burning, to the quote which is used in um, famous work of anthropologist Marcel Moss, essay of the gift, because he uses a Maori um, saying, which goes like this, um, give as much you take and all will be well. Thank you very much.